Hey guys, pro-life Catholic Mark Hawk home was just raided by the FBI this week. So Mark Hawk, a pro-life Catholic, had 30 to 40 FBI agents in riot gear with rifles pointing at him, barged through his house, banging on his door. When his wife uh, said, show me a warrant, they said, we're taking him with a warrant or without. Mark tried to calm him down and said, hey, you know, I have children here. You're scaring them. And uh, nothing, nothing persuaded these guys from acting like the Gestapo. He had six or seven children crying hysterically as they watched the FBI pointing guns at their dad and throwing them down, putting them in handcuffs and shackles and taking them away, taking their father away. These kids are going to have a lifelong trauma from this. Now, what did Mark Hawk do that was so bad? Did he make a video smoking crack, having sex with underage girls like Hunter Biden did? No. Did he forcefully rape a half a dozen women like Bill Clinton was accused of doing? No. So what was his horrible crime that the Biden regime had to send 30 FBI agents in riot gear to take down one man. What was so dangerous about this man? Well, about a year ago, he pushed a man to the floor. He pushed a man, the man fell down. Yeah, so in 2021, he was doing sidewalk counseling, telling girls that wanted to go in and kill their babies, you know, we'll help you, you don't have to kill your child. There's services, there's adoption agencies, there's, if you want to keep the baby, we have resources. That's what, I've, I've done this. this, is what we do. We lovingly tell the girls, Jesus loves you, he loves your baby, don't do this, you're going to regret this, it's going to hurt you, it's going to hurt your child. Uh, that's what sidewalk counselors do. Well, there was a pro-abortion guy there every day that Mark was there, calling him vulgar names, uh, and this one day he kept saying to his young son, who happened to be there, your son's a faggot. Your, I'm sorry, your dad's a faggot. Your dad's an effing faggot. And he said, hey, stop talking to my son. And the guy went up very close to his son uh, and started yelling at his son, which the dad, any good dad would do, pushed the man away. He said, yo, get away from my son. The guy fell down, called the police, claimed he assaulted him. Mark was charged with assault. The case got dropped. Because it was nothing. The case got dropped. But the Biden administration picked it up and charged him federally for blocking an abortion mill. Because now that's a federal crime. And so they charged him with that. And if this doesn't piss you off, then you don't understand what's going on. Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, this is not the America that we know and love. This is something out of Nazi Germany. I've been following politics since I was a young teenager. I've never seen an administration so forcefully use law enforcement as a political weapon. The Biden administration weaponized, he's weaponized the law enforcement. I've seen Obama came close with the IRS, you know, going after pro-life groups, auditing everybody, and uh, his DOJ investigating reporters they didn't, he didn't like. But nothing rose to this level. I mean, just the other day, the FBI uh, attacked the pillow guy, the pillow guy, Mike Lindell, and forcefully took his phone away from him uh, because he spoke against the election in 2020. They raided the house of a former president. I mean, that that that's every Democrat in Congress should agree with the Republicans that that was that was not American. That was that was just horrible. And they're doing this. Over thirty of Trump's associates has been raided. You see guys like uh, Peter Navarro. He's like a seventy-year-old uh, retired professor from like Harvard. Because he was a, a, a in the Trump administration, he's walking to the airport. And again, 30, 40 FBI guys, get him, put him in shackles, and walk him to the police car, take him away. This is what they do. This is 
This is unprecedented. This is this has never happened in American history like this. This Biden regime is taking the government to a dangerous level we don't want to be. This is the Biden has turned the FBI into the Gestapo. And that's not just me saying it. That's about 15 to 20 FBI whistleblowers. I seen one last night and he said the Biden administration is using us agents to go against his political opponents. They're taking us off of child trafficking cases. They're taking us off of terrorist cases and they're focusing on his opponents. This is the FBI whistleblowers saying this. So, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. I was actually making my notes to make a video when I got back from mass this morning about how dangerous today's Democrat party is and how anti-Catholic this Democrat party is. And um, I, I, I was doing my research and this popped up on the internet what just happened. So I just, you know, I just read this like five, five minutes ago. Uh, so it's made me realize the video I'm making later is is very important you guys need to watch this uh if you're not subscribed subscribe so you're notified hit the bell whatever you got to do to so you're notified it's very important to know as catholics what we're up against right now with the biden administration it, we're in we're heading for some dangerous times but have faith i'm going to give you some hope and some reason why to be hopeful it's not going to be a debbie downer video uh but i'm going to give you some facts and you know you might be a democrat watching this that totally disagree with me please watch it with an open mind because all i'm going to give you is facts i'm not, i'm going to give you facts to show you what dangerous times and whether you're republican or democrat we need to vote republicans in in november to to slow this down i mean we could call an fbi if the if the republicans are in charge they could call in uh, FBI leaders and DOJ leaders and it, to question them, kind of put a spotlight on this because this is getting dangerous. You know, Joe Biden's hateful speech uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe where he had the devil red background and he's screaming and yelling that, you know, MAGA Republicans are the most dangerous extremists, you know, calling us terrorists, calling 75 million Americans terrorists and extremists. And we're the most da we're dangerous. What is that doing? That's making people hateful and acting out these hateful crimes. A guy just last week admitted to the cops, 50 year old man admitted to the cops, he killed an 18 year old kid, killed him, he admitted it, premeditated murder, killed an 18 year old kid because he was a Republican and he was feared that he was a Republican MAGA extremist, like Biden warned him about. And guess what? That guy's out on bail. That guy's out. The guy's out. He's on the street. <laughs> When you have grandmas and grandpas that protested on January 6th, peacefully walked into the Capitol, not the ones that broke windows, they deserve to get punished if they vandalized our Capitol building. I'm talking about people that just walked in and we've seen the video footage where the doors were open, the cops opened the door, it was no big problem. These people are still sitting in jail. Still sitting in jail almost a year later. You know? And you have... Antifa and Black Lives Matter all summer before the election, burning police stations, burning federal courthouses, and Kamala Harris uh, tweeting out, help, you know, they had uh, like a bail, GoFundMe to bail these people out, tweeting out to bail these people out. These are people that are solid law enforcement, federal law enforcement, as well as local cops. It's just a, it's just a, two-tier justice system and it, it, it's no no longer the political elite and the rest of us it's the democrats and the republicans if you're a democrat whether you're just a regular guy that belongs to antifa or black lives matter you get away with murder if you're a politician and your son is making deals with china and ukraine making millions of dollars selling out america you get away with it if you're a republican president that they're afraid is going to get reelected, your house gets raided. If you're a pro-life Catholic, your house gets raided. If you're the pillow guy who supports the president they don't like, your phone gets taken. This has to end. We have to end it peacefully. 
at the voting box and in the prayer, in the prayer room, in your prayer closet and the voting box, the two places we're going to end this. And we're going to end this and I'll give you some hope later on. But God bless, stay Catholic and uh, share this video. Let people know what's going on. This administration, the Biden regime is not a normal, this is not a normal presidency. I mean, he got elected, just think about it. Never campaigning, hiding in his basement. I mean, even his own people in his party know that he's shot, he's mentally shot. So who's running the show? He's beholden to China, he's beholden to a lot of foreign powers that him and his son and his brothers and his wife have all made millions of dollars making deals with. So, um, you know, make sure you vote Republican and make sure you support pro-life organizations. So if you're buying or selling real estate, very important that you go to realestateforlife.org. So any fees and commissions you pay buying or selling real estate will go to a pro-life Catholic real estate company. And the man or woman that represents you will be a pro-life Christian, guaranteed. God bless and stay Catholic.